travel day. That means we are going from Fresno to San Diego. I have to somehow get a few things for work done today. I have some planning for Rock Days, planning out some new features. I have two clients, two client requests that I need to take care of. And we have a seven hour travel day. Six, five and a half, six hour travel day, somewhere around there. Got my matcha to go, just in case. Emergency matcha. The last thing to get packed is our travel router. Got to have the internet right up to the last moment. Might need maps. Might need to check an email. That's the last thing. It's that time. Let's do it. We're unplugging her. <laughs> This router works really good. You just plug it into whatever router is at the Airbnb that you're staying at and it automatically connects most of the time. The Wi-Fi ID is the same one on all of our devices. We don't have to keep connecting multiple devices every new place we get to. If you're at a hotel and there's just Wi-Fi, you can connect to that and extend it to your other devices. Out. We're on the road, ready to go. We are four minutes in. The kids are already asking for snacks. Four minutes. How many? All right, now I'm being corrected. No, 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 no. 15 minutes. Need snacks. We got about six hours and 20 minutes to go. That's, that's a day of driving. I'm gonna try and get some tasks done for Rock Base while we're in the car, planning out some new features we have coming. CJ has Pokemon class, gonna try and make that happen. And yeah, let's see how this goes. First stop of the day, rest area, because I had to go. <laughs> that's, that's very rare. But CJ's got his Pokemon class, we're gonna try and hotspot it. I'm gonna try and get some coding done while he's on that. Let's go. Coding in the car is not ever easy. Battling the sun, battling every bump, battling the kids, they're playing their games, but I like listening to them. It makes me feel more creative. I had this big, long project that was supposed to take about 45 days. One of my goals was to do two tasks per day. Just kind of breaking into small chunks. There's over 45 tasks. If I do two per day, I should have more than half the project as a buffer. Works really well. So today's tasks were to implement the navigation and the footer, or the header and the footer. And I got them done. I don't want to be showing you all my legs. What I had to do is I had to actually, in theme.json, define some custom CSS, which I rarely try to do. Sometimes you need to. This is what worked. We got an awesome navigation. That CSS was specifically for these social icons. Uh, we got photo navigation done, great logo, and the header navigation as well. Up here, logo, and then tomorrow we'll be working on the homepage template. LA traffic. We're not even in LA anymore, are we? <laughs> traffic. I don't know what kind, but this kind. 
spending a lot of this drive thinking about WordPress and where the future is going, it's definitely in an interesting spot. Right now you have the general WordPress users, which just want to install a theme and be done with it. They just want to install it, start creating, start adding content, and ship it. Then you have the DIYers, and they want to be able to install a theme and customize it, make it look the way that they want to. Full site editing, you can now make a lot of those custom customizations without leaving the editor, which enables a whole new crowd of WordPress builders. And that's exciting, but also extremely challenging. As somebody that's trying to create a WordPress theme business, this new dichotomy of WordPress users, dichotomy, is that even the right word? I don't know. With this new, huh? <laughs> Me neither. With this new generation, no, that's ridiculous. This new era of WordPress, era is good. Era, era. We're gonna change that then. Kelly just told me it's a Taylor Swift reference, we're so. We're in our what? Our block theme era. All right, we're not using era, clearly. Can I even say Taylor Swift on my channel without getting sued? We're in a new, well, you ruined that one, so now I need a new one. This is the content everybody's here for, our arguments about Taylor Swift. All right, in this new era, I got nothing better. It's kind of exciting. I want to make Rock Base something that fits both types of users. And the reason for that is, our goal is to empower creators, creative professionals. So authors, artists, musicians, pottery creators, pottery spinners, pottery clay makers, potters, potters probably. I want to empower them to be able to easily create a website so that they can focus on their craft and not worry about HTML and CSS and all this boring shit that they don't really care about. But I also want to empower the people like myself and other freelancers and small studios that want to build really high-powered, efficient, beautiful websites for their clients. And that intersection between these two is its very interesting and it's something we're trying to solve and we have some ideas and some theories that we're going to put into place. We're going to see what happens over the next few months. It's going to be, it's very exciting. So we're in a great era. I'm just going with it. It's era. It's the WordPress block theme era. We're stealing it. T, T Swift. Taylor Swift? I'm stealing it from her. I think that's a drone? We're not sure. Very large drone if it's a drone. cleanest our car has been since we uh, got it from the dealership. <laughs> we just got it clean before this trip, which was pretty smart. Go Kelly. Woohoo! When we first get to an Airbnb, we like to just get everything into the house, check it out, see if there's anything wrong, anything that we need to be concerned with, and then we always need some food. It's been a long drive, time to just recharge a little bit and get settled. This time we had the Olympics to watch. We made it. Long travel day. Six and a half, seven hours from Fresno to San Diego, California. We got here though. We're at our Airbnb. It'll be perfect for us for the next couple of days. I'm pretty excited. It was a good day of work in the car, which is always fun and a challenge. You're, the sun, like I mentioned, is always <laughs> on your screen. You can't see. I remember doing this 10 years ago and I had a, a much worse laptop that was, it didn't get nearly as bright as my current one. I remember still trying to like squint and get real close. Got a lot of decent stuff done today. Got uh, some client work done. Got a project into a really good spot. Also spent a lot of time thinking about rock base and where we're going with it. Like what our what our plan is for the future, how we're gonna solve for the different types of users that we have using the product. It was great brainstorming and thinking about the next iteration of, of rock base. And 
I have a lot of big plans and be sharing more for sure in the future. Big lesson of the day, when you don't have internet, you can really, really focus on what you're working on. I had barely any internet all day long because we were in the car, but I could just focus. I was just focused on what I needed to get done and got it done.